Sturgis. Welcome to Dynamic Edge at Home. Here's another fitness challenge, something fairly simple that uh, I thought that we could try. So uh, let's get warmed up. So got a yoga mat here. I'm gonna put that on the ground, like training outside, It'll be a little more comfortable. So set that out. And I'm just gonna start by loosening up a little bit. So ear to shoulder, half circle to the front, ear to shoulder, half circle to the front. Do that a couple times on each side. The reason we're not doing a full circle is we don't want any impingement on our neck. Roll the shoulders, just working down the body about five to ten times. Reverse it. Arms to the side, stretch your wrists. Working it back. Stretch your wrist the opposite direction, a little bit bigger circles. Switch into the opposite side, start to loosen up a little bit, shoulders back, hands in front, little coordination, one forward, one back at the same time. Switch it up. Work that torso a little bit to the side, open up, to the side, to the side. A couple hula hoops here, get your hip rotation, get the knees and ankles going. All right, so here's the basic formula for this workout. This is something that you can create on your own because I'm teaching you more of a formula and how to do this rather than just showing you a workout. So you can apply this concept and make up your own workouts. This one, the idea is to start simple. It's basically about a five to 10 minute challenge, five minutes of cardio though, and the cardio is gonna be jump rope or jumping jacks. Real simple, no equipment. If you don't have a jump rope, just do jumping jacks. And you don't have to count exactly, just do 40 or 50 jumping jacks and uh, then see how you feel, all right? If you need to shorten it a little bit or you can challenge yourself a little more, you can add a little bit more time. But the rule of thumb, what we're going for is approximately 30 seconds. And really what we wanna do for five minutes of jumping jacks is to break it up into 10 little sections. And the first five, I'm gonna put strength training exercises in there. Now today I'm going to concentrate mostly on chest and shoulders, but you could do chest, legs by adding body weight squats or lunges. You could do pull-ups if you have a pull-up bar at home. Um, you can, you know, throw in some other strength training exercises or work on some of your kicks. So you could practice kicks and work your boxing a little bit. You could practice working just circles for coordination. You could work on your blocks, which I'd like to do a little video on this little challenging circle of blocks that we do with the double factors you could just do karate style punches for 30 seconds so you do 30 seconds on take a 10 to 20 second break then do a do a little bit of strength training or challenge yourself like i'm going to do 100 punches or 100 high knees or 50 high knees and then you go right back to the jumping jacks or the jump rope so i made a jump rope out of paracord so i'm going to do one more little stretch here i like to do this and while I'm doing that I'm gonna do I'm gonna come up on my toes a little bit to get ready for jumping so I'm coming up on my two toes doing a little calf raises here and stretching my feet I'm gonna stretch my feet to the outside and to the inside too I'm gonna to jump rope on the ball of my feet I'll just do a little bit of this 30 seconds okay so after you jump rope for about 30 seconds then you'll switch to your strength training exercise. And for me, I'm just doing push-ups. With the, the angle of my patio, I can have feet down and feet up. So if I do that, all I'm gonna do here is position my body so that my feet are higher than my hands. So when I do that, it looks something like this. I'll square out my mat here. more challenging push-up come up and twist a little slight rotation all right so got the push-ups done now I want to go back to my cardio this time I'll do jumping jacks so ten Now I'm going 
minute rest. 10 to 20 seconds. Breathe into the nose. Okay. We'll just do like a, a little inchworm. So a little toe touch, walk it out. Come to plank, come on down, up, push through the heels, lift through the chest. Push up, bend your knees a little bit. Here's the quadrupedal position. So I'm gonna widen my grip a little bit. I'm gonna come back and then I'm just gonna bring my forehead towards the mat. Now if this is too hard, just set your knees down and ease into it that way. So both versions, a little bit stronger on the shoulders there. So that's my fifth round. And now I just have to do, oh, five more rounds of jumping jacks and or jump rope. So it's a lot of fun, simple formula. You're gonna get five minutes of jump rope or jumping jacks, and you're gonna get at least five rounds of strength training. It's a, a great little workout. It's challenging enough for a beginner. And if you're more advanced, all you have to do is repeat it a couple times and you'll make it a lot more challenging that way. I hope everybody is safe and feeling well and look forward to seeing you online in our virtual classes. Go to dynamicedgema.com or check us out on Facebook at Dynamic Edge on Facebook or Dynamic Edge Arts on YouTube and uh, we can do some more training together. If there's something you like or like to see more of or you have questions, leave them in the comments. So until next time, go in peace and watch your back.